Hey guys, Rebecca the Brilliant here with another episode of Let's Play Detroit Become Human. Tonight we're on chapter 15. Uh, last episode was chapter 14. We were with Connor. And uh, they found another deviant. I'm glad to see you again. I hope you had a pleasant day. I would did. Would you like to continue your story? Yes, I would. Thank you for asking. So, last time we were with Connor and Hank, and they tracked down a deviant to an apartment full of birds. And when they went to chase him down, Connor had to make a choice between saving Hank or catching the deviant. And, uh, because it's what I would choose, I chose to save Hank, and the deviant got away. So, I'm excited to see what we have next and so let's get to it here we go I always forget there's this loading screen that takes forever or else I'd have hit it while ago sorry guys so I've been going back and looking at some of the previous videos to get some ideas of some of the things that I want to do different next time through and uh, I've definitely got some ideas. I, I'm trying to come up with a plan on exactly how I want to go about going back through it and exploring all the different scenarios and possible endings and such. So, alright, here we are. Looks like we're back with Marcus on November 6th, 2038 at 5.13pm. It's right where we left Who off, it looks like. Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. Hi, Simon. Hi, North. Hi, Josh. Um, let's, uh, let's ask about androids. How many are you? There are 19 of us still in working order. The rest were damaged escaping their masters. Many tried to reach Jericho. If you succeed, humans have little pity for our kind. Hmm. Let's talk about freedom. And hiding just to stay alive. That's freedom to you? Humans hate us. Hiding is the only way we can survive. There is no safe place for those like us. If humans knew we were here, they'd kill us. Yeah, probably. Let's ask about the and trail. You knew that only an android could follow the trail, didn't you? Only those who are like us can find Jericho. If you could decipher the signs, it's because one of us trusted you enough to give you the key. There's a place where we can be free. Find Jericho. I understand how you feel, but we have more freedom here than you ever did. It's too somber. Maybe I was never really free. Maybe I was only what my master wanted me to be. And now, I need to decide who I really am. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. Lucy? Hmm. All right. Find Lucy and explore Jericho. What all can I do? Oh, there's something right here. What can I do here? Start fire. Yeah, why don't they already have fires? That's kind of weird. I mean, at least to even see by. Of course, androids they can probably see in the dark just fine, right? Quite a bit I can do around here. Apparently, I can't talk to either of those people that just came to the fire. That's interesting. Can I talk to this guy? I can! Oh man, dude, you look bad, buddy. You look real bad. I'm not in very good shape, am I? Uh, no. My diagnostic program isn't working. Your face isn't working either. 
I don't think he would have anything good to say anyway. What happened to you? They tied me to the back of a car. I think they wanted to have fun. Mm. I don't want to shut down. No, I don't want to shut down. Some people are just cruel. I mean, yeah, I know this is a pretend scenario, but people are, there's people like that in real life that are just assholes that just feel like it's their right to be able to bully and be assholes and God, to other people. That's just, I don't understand it. I never will. I mean, even for objects, that's like, that's completely uncalled for. Why would you do that? Even in this scenario. All right, let's finish doing the stuff in here before we try to go anywhere else. I've heard humans are afraid of dying too. Oh, you look rough too, baby. Do you know what happens after death? No. No, I don't. I'm about to find out. What's your name? Marcus. Hmm. I was glad to meet you, Marcus. Oh, how sad. whole chapter is going to be. <laughs> it's something over here. Is that one of the, one of the little kid ones? They threw him out when they didn't want him anymore. He was living on the streets before we brought him here. They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. To help them, we need blue blood and bio components. We salvage what we can from those who shut down. But there's never enough. So, how do they survive? They won't. We're slowly dying out. Wow. Oh my goodness. place man I forget I have that flashlight oh I can look here crate already emptied okay so they did have some spare parts and stuff that they've gotten at some point Cyberlife Warehouse and Docks, West Torrance Avenue, Detroit. Okay. Okay, so you're trying to figure out. Okay, let's see. What else? What else do we have? Do we have anything over here? Are those guys shut down? No, they're not. She's moving. Huh. Oh. Perspective change was through me. That was weird. Hey. What was your function before coming here? 
What are Whoa. You She's resentful towards me, huh? Already? You don't even know me, lady. Let's talk about Jericho. Found this place. Nobody knows anymore. Whoever he was, his body's probably laying somewhere on this boat. A lot of these guys in pretty bad shape. That's how the humans treat those who disobey. They despise us. They'll never accept what we are. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. I guess we're done talking. Hopefully I asked the right things. I can't go up those stairs there. Can I go up these stairs over here? Can I talk to you? No? Can I get around you? No? Okay. Well, everybody seems to be on this level anyways. Where's that singing coming from? Ladder this way. Oh, I bet you they're here. What's through here? Is there any? Wait, hold on. No? Okay. Okay. Alright. Well, let's check out what's in here. Oh, hey! Hey, you. you... Are you Lucy? Whoa. <gasps> Sit down. What in the world? Where's the back of her head? I have a hard time thinking that's a fashion statement, guys. Oh, she's really pretty. But look at her Show eyes, me. too. Why are her eyes completely black? Show you what? Oh. I'll stop the bleeding. Wounded, huh? Still wounded from the junkyard? Hadn't finished healing? Ow, jeez. Okay. Alright. Drink this. That's is that some of the blue blood? Yeah, looks like it. Her and her armband thing isn't glowing. Why isn't she glowing? You're very interesting, Lucy. Give me your hand. Is she like a seer or something? You had it all. And you lost it all. You've seen hell and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? Your choices will shape our destiny. Hmm. Okay. So Marcus is important, apparently. I mean, aside from the fact that he's one of the 
Never mind. You know what I mean. Like, I feel like... Kara... So... Kara... Doesn't really seem like she's that important. Like, she's important to that girl. To, to Alice. But she's not... I don't feel like she's really super important to the overall story. Like, so far it seems like her perspective is just to give you an idea of, like, what an android would go through if they became a deviant. Um, this guy here, Marcus, seems like, from what she just said, like, his role is going to be more pivotal to the overall plot of the story, to how the whole thing turns out. Um, and I feel like Connor probably has some, um, some importance in how everything's going to turn out because I feel like he has the power to squash whatever this is that's happening here if, if he's played a certain way. But, or to, or to aid it. I mean, he could go either way, I think. But, I don't know, he doesn't seem to be heading down the aiding path. So, I guess we'll see. But that's interesting. What am I supposed to do? Uh, propose a plan to Simon. Okay. Because Marcus is not the sit around here and die kind of guy. I'm just saying. He's just not. Simon. Hi, Simon. I know where we can find spare parts. That's the same thing as Daniel. Cyber That's the same kind as Daniel in it. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm yeah. with you. Maybe it's worth a try. Okay. I'm in. All right. Cool. So, Marcus just kind of stepped in and said, Hey, we need to do st something. Because apparently nobody is doing anything. 100% uh, complete. Oh, I got everything. Look at that. Cool. Of course, there wasn't a whole lot to it. But, you know, it is what it is. Public opinion, skeptical, Jericho neutral, North neutral, Josh neutral, Simon neutral. So North, Josh, and Simon are my cohorts here, apparently. And they are of importance. Otherwise, why would you be tracking how they feel about Marcus? <laughs> Alright, so I guess that is the end of chapter 15. I don't know how long it's been. I don't think it's been very long, but I'm going to go ahead and cut this one off, but I'm going to go ahead and record a second chapter 2 tonight. Because um, that was pretty quick, but I don't want to run the risk of video going too long. So, I will see you guys on the flip side. Have a good night. Bye-bye.